Hi, I want to walk you through the new Twilio usage, or as I have it labeled here, VBX usage uh, plugin for WordPress. And basically, what this does is it interfaces with any Twilio account, and it can give you reporting on a, a lot of different uh, categories that are available from within uh, Twilio. So this is a standalone plugin; it's not dependent upon any other plugin. So um, I have it labeled as VBX usage mainly so that um, you can mask the fact that it's a, a Twilio tool from your clients if you're setting this up for clients. And um, right now this is a dashboard widget and uh, I have it set to show me my monthly SMS usage for the past few months. So I can click inside here and there's a lot more categories we can look at in different ways. So uh, this is monthly uh, total price so that's the default unless you you are setting this up for a, a client then they can't see any pricing information but uh, so when you're logged in you can see how much have you spent each month so far and um, or there's a bunch of different categories here a lot of them you don't need but uh, let's say you just want to look at your SMS usage for the month or on a monthly basis click that and you'll see uh, your SMS information uh, by the month and this is of course in dollars right here but if you want to look at how many messages you're actually sending you can just switch that to counts and then um, it'll show you I've sent uh, 237 SMS messages now if I go to say something like uh, calls and I I can see the number of calls so in July, 838 phone calls in and out. I could decide, well, I only want to look at the inbound or the outbound or whatever. Um, but another thing is I've had 838 calls, but let's see what my usage is, which is in terms of minutes. And it shows my calls in minutes for that month were 901, so 901 minutes. So, um, and then, of course, I want to go back to price. I can I can also open this chart editor and I can look at things in terms of a line graph or different types of graphs if I want. And then um, once you set this up for a client, let me show you what you would do. If you go into users, and I've been playing with this one, so if I click on this client, what you need to do is in order for them to see uh, the information, you would need to enter under Twilio usage settings the SID and token for a Twilio account or a sub account so if they have their own Twilio account you would use that if they're a sub account on your account you would go into your Twilio account you would go to into sub accounts find that sub account and then use the SID and token from that sub account put it in here and then uh, if you want the dashboard widget to not be displayed you know, it defaults to no widget or you can say uh, you want to see the call counts and stuff like that. If they're mainly a call, you know, a tracking client or possibly an SMS client, uh, it'll default to one of those, whatever you select here. So now if I, if I switch over to this user, I'm using a user switching um, plugin here, so we can see what the user sees. So I'm, now I'm logged in as this, uh, this client here and I see on my dashboard how many calls have been made and received for the month of October and I just like I could as the admin I can drill down into the reports except I don't get any pricing information all the pricing Twilio information is hidden um, that way you don't have to worry about them you know comparing you know the prices shown here with what you maybe you're charging them so um Maybe they just want to look at their calls for the month. They can do that, or the minutes. Uh, they will just change it to usage, and I'll show them how many minutes of calls they've used for each month. They can break it down by monthly or daily, uh, yearly, and um, just play around with all these uh, options here. And you can see that there's a lot of different ways to break this down. Also, you can open the editor, change bar types, and pie charts and whatever um, and that's it so uh, again once you've uh, installed this you can set it up for um, 
uh, the various users on your web on your WordPress site, and it just gives them another uh, way to to look at their Twilio or their VBX usage uh, on a regular basis. Uh, again, great for tracking SMS uh, messages in and out, as well as uh, how many calls they're getting possibly on a daily basis. So um, let's go ahead and switch back to admin real quick, and I'll show you just as, as an example. If you have a client that um, that is mainly a call tracking client, what you can do is edit them, and what I would do is set them up for their dashboard widget there we go and maybe we want to see the inbound calls and uh, you know you, you that's what you would set it on so they'd see their inbound calls for the month and uh, to give them accurate pitch, picture what's happening so and of course they can drill down and see more okay so uh, that covers it and uh, I hope you like it thanks